people. Fishtanktv.com, Dustin's Fish Tanks, bringing it to you on a Sunday, baby. It's Species Sunday. Doing this from an iPhone 5. Hope it works out well because my Kodak camera is just giving me fits right here. It's sucking. So, want to talk today with my man Steve. Steve's always down for a Species Sunday. Steve, people be asking me about neons. People be asking me about cardinals. Talk about cardinal tetras for us today, my man. You're keeping them. You're loving them. Your discus are in here. Steve just was power scrubbing the tank, so not, you know, give cut the man a little slack. The FX5 will probably have this thing clean by the time the video is done. Talk about Cardinal Tetris for us, my brother. Well, the Cardinal Tetris look great. My discus are hiding after a big water change right now, but they'll be fine in like an hour. Cardinal Tetris are awesome, man. They're from the Amazon, South America. They look sweet. Uh, the big way to tell the difference, when you're looking at neon-type neon looking tetras, cardinals are going to be a solid blue line all the way across the top. It's solid red all the way across the belly. Get a close-up on them so they can see that real clear. But, um, but they've got great color. They're really different from the neon tetras. The neon will have... Blue more on the front, red more on the back, and a little white on the belly. And the red doesn't go all the way across on the neons. Exactly. Usually cardinal tetras are a little more expensive. Neons are usually a little cheaper. There's a reason for that. Cardinal tetras are almost all caught in the wild. So these are all probably wild caught fish from the Amazons. Neons are mostly tank bred. I guess they just do it better. I'm not exactly sure why. Uh, these are a more difficult fish. If you want a beginner fish, get the neon tetras. Don't get the cardinal tetras. I do tetras. not. Dustin does not recommend neon tetras for beginners. Steve, you cardinal said, tetras. Oh, excuse me, excuse me. I do not recommend cardinal tetras for beginners. Neon tetras, definitely over that. Steve, you second that for sure. I mean, that's just the way to roll. Um, they uh, school great. That's why I love them is because they school really nicely. The other thing that's great is they go great with discus because cardinal tetras are a warm water fish. They love the heat. Hotter the better, usually. They come from the lower basins in Brazil, the uh, Rio Negro, and then it's like it's Orinco, I think is how we pronounce it. I could have that wrong. But um, in Brazil, and I was reading on them as well, even though Steve is the man that keeps them, that uh, they, they are bred a little bit in captivity, but not that much. But what they're trying to do is, is propose that like the capturing of cardinal or tetras is like such a, a vital part of the economy in certain areas that it's important to keep that business going it's also good for people to understand that how deforestation of the rainforest will be affected so like these people will lose their jobs so it's important for them to kind of have that thing going on where they're like you know still a part of an, an, an economic system and then know that the rainforest is important to produce beautiful fish like this so um warmer temps they prefer a lower ph but steve i was asking you about that and you were telling me that ph eh. yeah i mean there's this tank's basically a ph of seven these fish do great. I, you know, they come from a place with low pH. I don't really worry about pH. I just worry about good water quality, good filtration, and heat. I don't like to keep cardinal tetras any lower than 78 degrees. I've had them all the way up to 90 degrees. This tank is running 82. Discus and cardinal are both doing great. They look great. They're healthy. They eat flake. They eat anything. They'll eat bloodworms if I throw bloodworms in for them. They'll eat, uh, I mean, you name it, they'll eat little pellets. You can get really small pellets that they love to eat, but, uh, but they are not picky eaters. They just want good, high-quality food. So here they go. They're going to have a little, little chow down right now. But um, While the discus are plumbing. While the discus are not doing anything. Hot chick at the bar that won't talk to anybody. <laughs> That's the discus right there. I'm good looking. I ain't hanging out. Now the neons are... are <laughs> no, you can't have my number. <laughs> neons are cold water fish. They and they'll break. school together, by the and way. And they'll school together. Neons and Cardinals will school together. However, you kind of want to keep them separated, in my humble opinion. Yeah, but, I like the looks of Neon, or excuse me, I like the looks of Cardinal Tetras better. I like the durability of Neons more. Yeah. So. And the cooler temperatures, because you, don't, you can run Neon Tetras in a tank without heat most of the time, unless you live somewhere really cold. You're going to need a, a pretty powerful heater to run with some, a big school of Cardinal Tetras. So that's it, folks. Species Sunday, bringing it to you. I'm going to link up a video to the Neon Tetras as well so you all can see the difference there. I'd like to know about you guys, though. What do you folks think? What do you like more, Neon, tet neon Tetras or Cardinal Tetras, and why? Give me your experiences with both species. Let me know. Everybody make it a great week. Later.